Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Mao Ying Let's Play. We continue from turn three, as we have previously captured the Gunpowder Road province. This is our first province, and we can now assign a commandment by owning the whole province. And there are five commandments named after the five dragon children who are now ruling the land for the Dragon Emperor, the Jade Dragon, increasing some control, reducing the chance of plague spreading, we have the Iron Dragon, our brother, giving research rate. Well, technically, they're all our brother and sisters, but our brother that's a playable legendary lord, 7% uh, research rate. We have the Storm Dragon Edict, which is going to increase uh, the melee defense for our local armies. This is more of a military one, slowing down enemy movement in this region and reducing corruption by 5 points. Actually, pretty strong. That's our own edict. Corruption is very much related to us as... We have to protect the Grand Bastion from chaos threats. And then the other two here, Fire Dragon, this is Li, Li Dao, who is the Southern Dragon Lord, uh, Fire Lord. And he has the recruitment cost discount plus recruitment capacity, also military related, but more offensive in recruitment. Ours is more defensive and sort of cleaning out the corruption. Finally, the Sea Dragon, uh, Ying, uh, Ying Ying, uh, Ying Ying, uh, that's our sister. She's on the east side. Uh, she deals with trade here. We don't have that many trade partner, which is something we could try to fix, actually. Hmm. It's either that or the research rate, actually. Because with this 7% here, I could start sending out my uh, Astromancer to go steal tech for us. And that way we can pick up a one-turn saving eventually. Right now it's... 123%. If I get one more point here, that's 126 plus the 7%. Actually, it puts us at 133, which would be just about right to get us uh, sort of this one turn saving that we're looking for. So we might actually go for that the or the trade income, Bastion. right? It's either that or that. Recruitment is also something we consider. It doesn't come into effect right away, so we have to wait one more turn. It has to be in this province. We're going to be in this problem for maybe one more turn at the max before we move on to the next problems. So I'm a little bit debating. Mm. I think we go for this because I don't think the 7% will help right now. It'll, it'll be a good thing if we can get multiple provinces, but right now that's not the thing. I'm not so concerned about control. The thing about control is we can't really like we're playing a higher difficulty. The one thing that's going to solve our control problem is our harmony so that's what we gotta fix not trying to get some commandment here mm, just that we don't have a lot of trade deals right now we have two trade partners bring us 60 62 100 <laughs> yeah 122 very very little maybe there's a new trade partner Ugh, our brothers finally come around to the idea of trading with us i don't mind sending a non-aggression with him we would never fight him I would love to confederate him, but he's typically a little bit strong, so it's going to be difficult for us to confederate him early, but later on, you never know. Okay, give us a good number here, 88. So we know 85 is good. It's probably 85 then. Yep, it's just 85. That's fine. Cathay's might. Anyone else want to trade with us? Anyone else close to trading with us? Not quite. We got a bunch of Ogre Kingdoms over here. Um, their land is technically difficult for us to control because the climate is not exactly suitable for our uh, factions. So we might just leave them be and trade with them. And it looks like it's possible eventually. So we won't worry about that so much confederation value is just really really difficult right now we're gonna to have to wait till we have a long established relationship with most of our fellow cathay factions there is the concern of this rebel group we took all their land so they're going to be suiciding into the city very soon i am thinking that i need to pop my army out actually we give up a little bit of replenishment but the thing is we won't be sieged right if he attack if he siege us, it's awkward because then I can't finish recruitment. That's what I want to ensure. Make sure we can get two troops here by the end. So I think that's probably better if we were just standing outside. 
we have points. Uh, we mentioned that Life Bloom and Power of Int, very, very useful. Uh, Life Bloom is the entire battle map heal whenever we're casting. So it's basically healing an area and then a small heal. It's 1% basically for the whole map for your entire faction. I think this is actually super good. And we're going to grab that. Grows and aside from that, stronger. did we do the items? Not really. We do have this Sword of Might. We're going to give her the 8% weapon strength boost. And a little bit of defensive boost from the armor. We do have duplicate Jade Sculptors. And that extra one can go to our... Hmm. It gives the recruitment bonus. I guess Druga Down can pick it up for now. I wonder if it's stackable... Oh, you can't use it. Right, has to be a lord. That makes more sense. All right, so we can't stack them. So Druga Down, in case he ever recruits. I have no plan of him recruiting. Uh, at least not in time soon, so it's fine. We will have access to Wuxing Compass very soon. We'll talk about that next turn. Uh, right now, we need to use our buildings to solve our harmony issue right now. We picked up a new settlement. It came with an uh, inn building, which means we need to make a young building. And if we want young building, I prefer the civic option first. So we're going to get that going. That will correct itself next turn, but then we end up with the technology issue as well. So a lot of pressing, delicate matters. we got to change the tech before it finishes, so we're not going to be able to enjoy that. Unfortunately, Harmony comes first. And then our next plan of attack. Either we go for the Shrine here, the Shrine of the Alchemist, or we go for the Tower of Ashar. I think Shangyang can be uh, something we don't target first. One, it's difficult since it's walled. Uh, two... Uh, because it's difficult, I don't think our brother is capable of taking it. If you look at his path uh, of expansion, can't really see his territory that well. There we go. It, this is still in ruins, right? This is Sin, Sin Wu is in ruins, and that means the Skaven still hold it. So our brother did not take that settlement, which means I have time. I could start here, work our way around until we capture all three here and then we curl back we're not at war with the Skavens we know the Eshin clan are over here and over here we can turn back after that and sweep across I think that might be our path here did we not pick oh the snake gate also has hmm what do we want here we could reduce another one percent as well as Corruption. Growth would also be very good. We'll take the growth. I think the 1% is not going to matter too much. 7% with 66. 8% with 66. We're talking about 9 turns with 8%. And 10 turns with 7%. Yeah, it's 1 turn saving. I'd rather get the discount. Okay, and over here, we did get one more trade. I'm suspecting we're running at... Oh, gosh. It's actually 60 flat across. Averaged out. 180. 185%. We're talking about 9. 9 point of income increase here. That's just so little. I guess I can always go Fire Dragon Edict for the next turn recruitment and then swap it out. Just because I'm, I'm essentially losing 9 income. Yeah, I think that's actually probably the best. Yeah, we'll kick in next turn. And I think that's good. I think that's all we really need to do. Let's continue here. I'm gonna watch how he moves. He vanished. Let's see if we get the faction destroyed. Well, first, there's the caravan. They encounter the shortcut. Your guy knows of a route. Wait, again? This is the one we got last time. We paid for it last time. And they, I think they did go faster. It was two turns after that point. I mean, sure. Do we arrive? I'm actually super curious. Oh, that was just one turn away. I mean, we still did get there safely. We did pay extra thousand for it and then just basically take a thousand off. I'm more interested in the item we'll get here. Mm, they're passing through some sort of attrition territory. It's probably cold. The cold makes corp. Yeah, it's just the climate thing. 
Um, that's fine. Uh, they're gonna get their next turn, I'm gonna get our reward. And then they have to walk back. When they start walking back, I think I can start sending my um, second caravan out. That way we're more efficient with time. He ranked up. Interesting. So that's locked until rank 5. What I could do is I could send him out and get some specialty points or specialist points early on. And just increase that success chance. Rack up the steel technology. And help him level up that way. There is no... Uh, difficult choices here for the Astromancers. There's not enough skills compared to his max level so that we don't have to give up anything. So we can click on anything we want. It's not going to really affect us. I think we start with the Shrine here. I'm going to go for the Technology Steel, even though it doesn't do much. Actually, I think I'll go for the fight first. He can level up in the fight. All right, this is where we have to switch off from this because I don't want the end point. Unless I know for a fact that there is a building here that I could use. Oh, I cannot reach. In that case, we're going out in steel technology for level up purposes. Alright, we're going to stand at the edge so we can recruit. He's going to go over and try to steal. You can see the percentage here. Should I change tech before I do that, actually? I'm actually going to go to the young tech over here. The drill training. Keep that at 1. All right, good luck. Knowledge shall be ours. Success was not we got it. So if we look over here, 120 plus the 3% because we ranked it up once does not change the turn because I mentioned we need to be above 133 for this to matter. But the more he does it, the higher chance he can pick up a trait that gives him a bonus. So that would help us as well. We're going to be recruiting here. We can recruit one extra. And it's a little bit cheaper because of our... Uh, Edict there. Now we are only spamming peasant archers because we have that bonus. 50% upkeep discount for range infantry or missile infantry. And we're going to use that. This is the Wuxing Compass. This is a core mechanic for Grand Cathay factions. And there are four directions. You can set this magical compass that's hosted in the Celestial City. And wherever we point, we'll pick up their active bonus. It's listed down below each section. And not only that, the location that we're pointing at will build up this passive energy reserve. I believe it's one point a turn, max of 20 turns or 20 points. And once you have it filled, or as you fill it, different tier of bonuses will be picked up. These are passive bonuses that are always active as long as you have a little bit of energy left, which you can see currently I have energy for all three of these. There is no energy bonus for Warpstorm Desert, but the idea is... If I point myself at Great Bastion, this goes up to, like, say, 20 points. And if I switch it over to Celestial Lake, that 20 point will slowly take down one point a turn. I'll still get the benefit as long as I have a bit of energy left. So it's sort of a passive lingering effect, but decaying. Now, what I want first is probably Celestial Lake. It's more focused on growth bonuses, as you can see, up to 15 points per region. And the active effect is extra income from buildings and extra wins a magic chance of increasing in strength. Great Bastion's more reducing the threat at the Bastion. If you notice here, this is 2% with the three edict we can get on the three gates. If we control all three, that's another 3%. So we can technically reduce down the threat percentage down to about 3% per turn from eight. If we have all of these active, uh, there's a recruitment cost discount. There's additional army ability that is a bombardment one use ability. It does hurt quite a bit. I think this is kind of a call back to like throwing the the warp stone or the celestial whatever summoning lore of heaven that they use to create the great mall, right? We're chucking some sort of meteor down from heaven and uh, it does huge damage. Uh, so there is benefit here if we plan to fight and so forth. I don't really need a 10% recruitment discount on recruiting peasant archers. So I think I'd rather get the growth and start leveling up our settlements a little bit quicker. Uh, you can swap directions once every, we're about to find out, 10 turns or nine turns technically. Okay, so that part is done. We're recruiting, we're on the edge. Google now has not moved. There is an army outside. Am I scared of it? Depends on if we have garrisons. We do have garrisons, so I'm not scared. Our building choices. So this is where things get a little bit interesting. 
I think what we want is growth first. And the replenishment should help. Yeah, I think we definitely want the growth building first. The edict with additional 20% plus 20% from Harmony make this a lot cheaper. So we're going to get that first. And that might be it, because he's not moving, nor is he getting units. Ah, we have enough surplus population to upgrade the minor settlements, which I kind of do want to upgrade. I want to upgrade Nandi because I can build a young building here. And then I can finish my in tech. That's on hold. I think we'll do that. And we'll hold off a little bit of upgrading this, which required two population. Can we see what's here? Ah, this is a young building, which means I can finish the in tech when I take it. Okay, perfect. So technically, if we don't. I mean, if we want the, we're going to end turn. There, there is a option where we could switch to the intech now. If finishes next turn, I take this next turn. We go back into harmony for the end of turn next turn. But we lose out on summoning an army. Actually, that's probably still better, actually. Because if you think about it, what will happen is this way we end the turn with harmony active. Right, and then we start next turn without it, which means we lose, uh, we lose nothing temporarily speaking, because we we lose the ancestral warriors. We can't summon that unit when we do the fight, but aside from that, everything is totally fine. And then once we destroy it or take the town, we get this, and then we'll be we'll be fine. Even though I kind of want to swap this, but since it's already pre-built, I probably don't touch it. Uh, it's a little bit awkward. Yeah, let's just keep it as so. And, uh, and turn here. Alright, this way we get all the growth bonuses during the end turn. We pick that up. And then we lose the harmony for sure. Ooh. He disappeared to go attack our capital. What a fool. He picked the hardest target. Okay, we'll definitely entertain him. And we're getting attacked over here as well. Yeah, just because the threat meter is not full doesn't mean other factions outside won't attack us. Our caravan has completed. We paid a thousand on this way. What item do we get? The Frost Warm Skull. So yes, there are no unique quest battle item items for the Dragon Lords, but we do pick up a unique item for each of the trade route as we complete it. Missile resistance, Vanguard deployment. Okay, I mean... Not a bad item. Yes, we are not in harmony right now. No worries. Of the great I think all the good items should go on her for now. Oh, it's armor. Okay. Yes, reassign. And that one went to... Sure, we can give it to the caravan. It's okay. Now, can I send out my second caravan? Because this one is currently... Yes, we can. So as he's returning, I can send out my second one. And he did level up, so I can put a skill point in there. Okay, so Gongsun, Gongsun Feng, where are we going? We go somewhere new, obviously. Try to get another item from somewhere. We're not going to return there, despite the quick turnaround. Yeah, I think we're going to end up just going down here. Six turns. It's just closer. Wonder if we can. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna go here. Let's move out. So we're a little bit more efficient with our caravan. Have two of them cycle through each other. Now, what do I want? What do I want? I want. Hmm. I want to get a young tech ready. We must remain superior. All right, we're going to try to get this right now. So we can go back into harmony for those two fights. That way they can summon. There is a fight now, so I guess he could join back in. 
A little bit worried about the move and loss, but I think this distance should be fine. All right, they're giving us Pyrrhic. We're going to have to fight this. Yeah, two units going to get wiped. We kept the cavalry. We'll use it for distraction. If it gets way too low, we'll just toss it. I don't mind paying for the little bit of upkeep right now. 104 is suitable. What do you look like? Ah, uh, similar to the first one we fought. That should be fine. Yeah, if we could remove these two range units, then our Sky Junk will have free reign on the enemy, and they will also lose all their Eon bonuses. Although I don't like this map layout. This is the first one we did that gave us a little bit of trouble as well. Maybe we'll have a different approach for this one. Yeah, last time we fought through here, trying to go over here, it did not work out that well. We could change our approach. Hmm, lovely floating cities. I think we can just come down here, force this fight here. This point only protects up, right? So if we just seize that, the problem is this thing here. It's going to barricade using that, and we're going to probably have to be forced to take that. That's okay. The storm dragon. All right, you guys are going to have to stretch out as much as you can to provide the bonuses. Where is our Astromancer? My test begins. Maybe it's going to be more than six. Yes, not too bad. Seven is more than six. Uh, we should be fine. For the defense. We have the fireball still. Yes, we're going to actually sit here and if there's a tower. We're going to use Melling to destroy it. And we're going to actually use our range advantage here first. Oh, they put both of the range unit on the outside. That's good. We can pound them with our sky junk here real quick. The Celestial Daughter. Alright, that tower is going up in 80 something seconds. Mm, I can move up first, I guess. The Celestial Faithful. No one else need to rush. Whenever a tower gets fixed up, we'll oh they're just moving into barricades. That's fine. Um we'll create an angle here. I want to throw a really good fireball spell before we um, become a dragon. Although we could throw it as a dragon. Yeah, actually. Let's become a dragon and throw the fireball as a dragon. Hmm, these are the... Peasants, okay. And these are the Jade Warriors. I think that's a decent angle. Let's see how this works. Wonder if the barricade would just block it. Yeah, the barricade just blocked it. Alright, we're getting shot. Not too bad. Most of those shots will miss. I'm gonna wait, 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 and then just go after the tower. Gonna crush the tower. Stone and steel. Hmm, they're building a lot of barricades. Uh, shots that miss will actually help Melian here. All right, that's actually a decent shot there. This tower's gonna be down soon. We're not moving anyone up. There's no point at this. Point. We're gonna get rid of the towers first. One more hit. All right, tower is gone. I'm gonna go just harass these boys. I feel like 
we should be able to put some decent shot here. Or not. I assume we're capable of killing off some peasant archers here. I wonder if we can shoot this point blank. Right, why not? Fire, fireball, fireball. Hey, that's not bad. Run up to them, dragon form, fireball in the face. I like that. That's our crane gunner shooting. Okay, we're gonna fly over on top of them. Wanna like click here without actually clicking here? A crane gunner is very active. They flew away. Fine. Actually, you shoot here first. I gotta go over to the tower again. You get up. That's right. Close range. Perfect. Now turn around. Let's go finish that off. I'm gonna send the cavalry just to wreck this. I actually don't think this shot here will do much. Well, actually, we might destroy the barricade in like two shots. Like two more shots. Yeah, we're moving back to the job we do well. They bounce back, so we're gonna stop them there. Now we're just shooting some of our. Uh, barely taking damage. Now is going down soon. They barricaded their, you know, melee units inside. Kind of hilarious. We're gonna go attack this and fireball in, in the face. We're gonna move our balloon up. Oh, oh, they can move. They can climb over. Never mind. Never mind. Did not know that. Alright, we're here to fireball you guys in the face. Mm, let's aim here. I think we can get some of them as well when they rush over. They have the Inyan bonus. Doesn't matter. Ah, uh, that's that's not the angle. Come on, keep pulling. We can start pushing you guys up now. We're slowly coming over. Is there any more towers bothering us or no? I think we're good. He's trying to rebuild it again. How much supply is he getting? Seems like he's getting a lot. This is the range unit? Yes, perfect. Make sure we are right on top of them very soon, very soon. Now. Yeah, that's got to be over for them. Yeah, we're just hovering this. What happened to their cavalry? Did it get chased back? Yep, their cavalry got owned. Now we can move in. Alright, cavalry, break this down. We're gonna hold this area and just shoot at whoever gets close. They didn't build the tower anymore. 
Okay, that's good. That means I can come over here and fireball this group. Are you tilt and fire or no? No. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I don't want them to be alive. Get rid of all their Inyon bonus. And make sure we have ours. That's how we play this. Archers! The dragons are Jade Warriors! Shen Yan sends us! And then close range fireball. Well, we can do it, right? That's that's perfect. All right, finish off the crossbowman. Tower might be going back up. I might have shot some of my cavalry again. Seems to happen every time. All right, you can come back here. Give your bonus over here. We can drop a bomb as they come. Wee. Now we can't pull out a combat apparently. We need some damage here. Okay, Celestial Dragon Guard will take care of that, no problem. Maybe you guys should tilt this way a little bit. We can just pull back. We're fine. Let's give everyone the Eon bonus. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. How did he just suddenly get it ready? Uh, this was not intended, but we can give everyone a boost. Give everyone a heal. You guys fire. Yeah, we'll, we'll melt it. We'll melt it. No problem. Right, we're capturing that. We got one more bomb to throw. There's that. I'm not gonna fight the Astromancer. I feel like we can get them with the army loss. Mm, I'm going to swap these two. Alright, they're good. Turn them around. The Dragon Guard should be fine. Let's see if we can get a bomb on them. Might be a little danger close situation. Actually, let's play it safe. Get close. We can do another heal. Why not? Perfect. It's over. I think army loss is gonna kick in soon. Yep. That was a little bit better than the first time. Slower, but better. Much better, actually. So they killed 18 of us, and I killed four in that one bombardment that went wrong. I think maybe it's time to disband the cavalry. Another Jade Sculptor. <laughs> we can start uh, craft. We can start salvaging them or combining them, I think. Uh, another armor. Passability. Glittering scales. It's a... Hmm. Not a bad hex. The Storm Dragon. So, we're gonna... I mean, the effect is not that great for us, but I think we'll still keep it. Um... The caravans don't really recruit. Now he did level up, and what do we want him to have? Not that. Not that. I think we could either... I think we want to reduce the chance of getting ambushed. Before we maximize the value. Make him safer first. Like, I would hate to get ambushed. A tool of great efficiency. You can get... Oh, he, he is wearing armor. Alright, Trigonite can wear the glittering scales. 
the celestial meow. All right, we got level up here. Yeah, I think we're going to have him go steal technology for us. I stand apart. We're back in harmony. That was the plan. So we can end both Favorite turns in harmony. None and we're going to recruit two here. Court. And now we can fight these while we are in harmony to make it a little bit easier for us. We'll fight this first. I think for this fight, we actually can just speed it up because they're going to get faction wiped. Right, this is like a last desperate attempt. We don't need to waste any time, nor do I care about the settlement's casualties after this fight, because no one's really going to bother us here. And I'll pick up some extra cash. The Rebel Lords of Nanyang is destroyed. Now this fight, we might fight just because I want to see what the Snake Gate looks like. So we got ourselves... You know, the Kurgan Warbands are here. Looks like... Well, they have dual capabilities. They have a little missile on them. But aside from that, mostly melee units. Frugodown can't lose. Let's go. This will be open field, right, because it's not a siege fight, because we're going out to fight them. So I can't really see the actual setup for the defense. But I don't want to be sieged, so this is the way. So technically we're fighting in the Chaos Wasteland, which is why it looks like this. Can we at least see the Great Bastion in the background? Like, do we have to walk out this far to fight them? Apparently so. Okay, so let's see what we have and what they have. They have pretty much all melee. We've got two cavalry here. Try to keep them useful. These rocks are great. We're just going to hold here. Uh, there are some... Hmm. I'm worried about... What should we do with our two... That's the question. This is our range. I think we can step up. When we first go, Jade Warriors, Wind and Fire, Peasant Spearmen. Uh, does he have any spells on him? Support Guess we won't find out until later. Ah, uh, this is fine. Mage of we do have a spell. War. We have Wind Blast. Okay, that's gonna help. Alright, we're just gonna stack everyone up because I want to move up so we're not so downhill here. These two, I think we will just keep on the side. We'll flank with them. Move them up here. Go here. Go for over here. Go over here. Uh, four. Start looping up. Eternal Siege. See if I can block a couple of the charges with this unit. Mm. I don't mind getting charged by them, but uh, nope, not summoned fast enough. But we could technically flank them. Seems like they're settling into their range attack patterns. So we're going to go after a couple of them here. Push out. Try to get some flanks. Where is our Astral Mancer? Um, is he moving? Please don't move. Oh, we got him. Actually, go, go, go route these guys. Make sure they don't come back. We got this. They're just not as strong as we are. Alright, this guy's getting beaten up quite a bit. 
I don't think I can help very much, so I'm not going to do too much. Alright, we're going to peel off, get a cycle charge in there. Not worth chasing because we're apparently slower than them. Uh, to not too friendly damage this. I think this might get a couple of our guys, but overall we're fine. Gonna bolster one of our units. Alright, you go and take care of their lord. They did bounce back. Alright, it's okay. They don't do much damage. Our cavalry was spent, but that area is won. This area is won. Finish them up. Cavalry, you're fresh. Go charge that. All right, they're both down. Restore order. Never conquered. Heavens await. Why don't we join the fight as well? Stone and steel. The realm. Yeah, with our infantry backing up the cavalry, we should be totally fine. They will perish. They're bouncing back again. We could set up a lion way for them. I don't think they need much help here. Yep, instant. Turn around, turn around. And that's it. Yeah, not so hard. We took some losses. Acceptable, though. We would have even got his hand dirty. Didn't get any kills, though, because we went after their lord. Picked up an item. Shrieking Blade. Gives magic attack, causes fear, causes terror. Okay, I think we're gonna earn that. We'll pick up money. It auto went to him, that's fine. Invaders destroyed, picked up a level up. What do we want Drogodon to be? Well, I could have him be a really good fighter. He has no access to magic, so there's no spells. That's why this role is empty. He can become a grand tactician, right? Area bonus boost for reload speed and melee defense. I mean, thematically this fits. I think that's fine, actually. Why don't he just boost my units here? He got two skill points here. There's only one that we can pick from these three. And then we have to master it, basically, before we can become Grand Tactician. So basically, we can focus on range bonuses. We can focus on just defensive bonuses. We can focus on charge bonuses. I actually prefer the defense bonus. The range is tempting, just because of my personal play style. But I think this is more beneficial to everyone. Whereas if I have melee units, we can't use anything. You know, the accuracy and reload skill doesn't add anything. But even this adds bonuses for... A range unit that we can utilize. So we're gonna go with that. Plus he's gonna be defending the snake gate for a while. Now speaking of the three gates of the Grand Bastion, uh, there is... Oh no, we lost the Dragon Gate. No, who did this? Drug it out, you gotta go fix that. I serve the dragon. Is there any armies on the way between this? Okay, it seems, seems like we're fine. We're going to send the Sleeping Dragon to fix the Dragon Gate. Oh, there's a band, there's a band. Okay, they broke it. I can ambush. Right, I'm going to hide here. Enough movement to pick it up next turn. And then we should be okay. Oh, we're not going to be okay because then there's no garrison at Tier 1. So he's got to chill first. Hmm. Wow, defeating an army gives us minus 20 for a turn? That's wonderful. But this might not work out. We might have to pull back. Right, as I was saying, the names are actually very smartly chosen. Uh, dragon is kind of obvious just because, you know, we're ruled by dragon emperors. But picking snake and turtle makes a lot of sense because the Great Bastion is in the north. If you go by Chinese mythology, uh, the northern guardian beast is called Xuanwu. First off, his color is black, uh, so you can see as the northern province ruler, our background, the flag is black. 
and Xuan Wu as the guardian beast is a giant turtle with a snake wrapped around him, which is why we have snake gate and turtle gate. So that makes perfect sense. And then the guardian beast of the west is a white tiger, which is why our brother's flag is actually white background. The southern beast is a phoenix or a viremian bird. Uh, that's why we'll s we don't have the faction here yet, but once we see him, our Lidal's faction, uh, the Normad Fire, whatever it's called, it's red, obviously. And then the Eastern Beast is a Azor Dragon. And that's why Ian's flag eventually will be um, blue. Alright. I think we took care of everything. Now Ying ranked up again, two points. I want power of in. This is whenever we're casting, we debuff around us, uh, which is good. And then we kind of have our choice because I'm not set on anything else. I feel like we're such a good spellcaster. We're going to focus quite a bit on our spells. I'm not going to. That means we have to sacrifice something. Um, there's actually going to be a guide coming out very soon about this entire skill tree. There's 98 possible points we can use and we only get 49 points because max level is 50 so half of this is not attainable so there's got to be sacrifices made and i think because we're such a good spell caster with all of these you know uh spells that can give us a lot of heal i feel like we focus on spell casting and we give up a lot of the personnel bonuses that we get that can boost ourselves. i think that's probably the way we go of course you could go the other way as well pick up a bunch of these bonuses and then potentially like just don't level up any of your army bonuses. But then the Great Bastion effect is also really, really good. Yeah, so it's, it's you gotta give up something. So right now, we gotta think about what we wanna give up. We could also save the point for when we hit level 12, cause then we can pick Aurora Majesty as well as everything after it. And everything after it is all really good, right? So Aurora Majesty is, uh, Area Hex against enemy lord, so if we're dueling an enemy lord, we automatically take away 9 of their melee defense, which means we hit 9%, you know, more accurate. And then instantly, if we have skill points saved, we can pick up Harmonious for the 20 diplomatic relations, control, corruption, all good stuff. I'm not going to get this. I typically don't waste points on discounts. I don't think it's, you know, worth it in the long run. Uh, Master of the Storms. All our Lore of Life spells will have a minus 25 second cooldown and it will be cheaper if we try to use the upgraded version, which is an overcasting. Uh, if you're not familiar with Warhammer Magic, you can, it, once you learn the second point of a spell, you could click on the spell after you click the first time and get a upgraded version of it. It's called overcasting. And the downside of overcasting is it costs more and you can miscast, which will still do the spell, but your lord or whoever's casting the spell will take a huge amount of HP, like damage hit for miscasting it. And you can lower like miscast chance with things like earthing. Uh, it can go down to about, I think 20% is the lowest you can get it down to. because There's always some sort of a risk. I'm not a huge fan of overcasting, uh, but still getting just that 25% cooldown reduction is worth it in my opinion, because if you think about it, if I can get Earth Blood, right now the cooldown is 30 seconds, right? And if I get the next tier level up, I can get that down to a 50 second cooldown reduction on this level two, and then I can pick up another 25. So I can get the cooldown down to just a uh, flat, I think 10 seconds, I think is the lowest I can get. Because currently there's a 30% on it. I don't know if it's actually reflected or not. So it's like a nine second shave off. Close to 10 seconds, right? Just think about it, it's close to 10 seconds of the cooldown. When I cast this spell, I pick up five seconds of healing and an 18 second debuff and then it's back on and I can use it again. I can activate both of these passive again. I think it's just really, really strong. Uh, melee defense, war save against Northka, War of Chaos, Demon Chaos. This is a must have. Uh, imposing range, 10% additional range. This is must have. Reload time, 20%, this is a must have. And then we end up with Eye of the Storm, which is good, because basically when we're in dragon form, it adds 50% to our attack and then gives us 24 points of melee attack as an ability. It's pretty good. So yeah, we could save points for that. So that when we hit level 12, we just go boom, uh, boom, 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 boom. Technically, it's possible. 
We just have to like keep ignoring that. I can now dispatch both. No, I wait. I dispatched them. Did I not? I thought I did that last turn. Huh. Interesting. All right. I think I do want these slots. Just because I I really want the Eon flexibility for the balancing. Right now we're balanced. Nothing's changing that for for now. Do I need to be worried about that yell? I'm not going for the City of Monkeys. That's going to be our brothers. He has not done a thing. Hmm. I make him weak enough. I still don't think we can confederate him this early. Now, would you mind? Do you have an enemy that we can? Do you hate anyone? If we can draw in war or something, maybe they will just sign the deal. Uh, even though it's undiscovered, can any chance we can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any chance we can say yes to this? Okay. Yeah, I don't mind having enemy all the way out of the west, as long as we can get some trade deal going. Now this is probably going to be a big number. It's close. Only point one. Yeah, it's probably one seventy. Nope, 171. Alright, getting ourselves into random wars for 107. We have pottery now. You can see the difference of having a resource versus just tariff. Uh, it's very crucial. Anyone else? We can do similar idea here. Uh, why are you in a war with our rebels? Sneak. True savages. That's that's just too much. We can't really do anything about that. Celestial ancestors. Okay, we're interested in every single sort of alliances we can that helps improve our relationship for a potential future confederation. I know it says zero, but it's, it's not zero. It's a lie. Or is it? Yes, it's a lie. Okay, it's for two extra. Three extra. Potentially four extra. Four extra. The ancestor. But it was still a lie. Be on I crave. Yeah, I don't think we can squeeze anything else out. Hmm. Questionable what we want to do with that. I stand well, apart. seems like Cheyenne will be the next target, even though it's going to be a little bit hard for us to take it. Mm. We have one more recruitment turn, though, so it should be fine. Yeah, we're saving points. We can now build an outpost because we have a defensive alliance. I don't think we're actually going to build one, though. Uh, how outposts work is we have to spend money. We have to build it in one of their major set, their set their province's capital. So in this case, because Turtle Gate is a one sort of city province, um, we can build it there or one of their cities. Whatever military building is available in that city. We can recruit right away using a tier one outpost. Uh, it costs money, obviously. And if we upgrade the outpost, it can be upgraded three times. Tier two gets you access to uh, global recruitment. So whatever building they have in the faction, we can recruit from them. It's not as attractive for me because we are both Cathay factions. So it's like, why would I spend 3000 I mean, I help them defend their land. I don't even want to help them defend their land. I want them to lose their land. Whatever they lose potentially will become ours. So we're not going to build any outposts. But they broke through and they're inside. And there's another army at behind. Interesting. So is Corrigan Warband going to help us retake this from Zinch? That would be interesting. The corruption is spreading quite fast. Fugada might need to it's run back, under. to be honest. This is not safe. You two are both named Harwolf. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, I think that's all we have to do. We have the army recruiting. We have all the Inyam working out perfectly fine. So let's just continue here. All right. They're building an outpost for us. 
we have a small problem. We have a potential attack. Now, when did he get such a big stack? Alright, it looked so innocent for a while. This is fine. This is not fine. So the Mines of Nanyang, we could cancel it. We want the population back mainly. So we can use it for the big city. Both army has moved in. It's still too risky to go fix it because he would just attack me. He's coming back. Yeah, this is a rough situation. We're going to go back. We're going to defend. It looks like we probably need another army. This isn't too bad. Mm, I'm prepared to lose that. How fast is my brother moving here? Like, can I abandon this? Real quick, we can stop here, go back, and then come back. Storm Dragon. Because I, I don't want them to spread. We're going to have to halt them here. Ah, they went after this city. They finished it, and then they came back, and they're going after me. That makes sense. That means we can pick up this city, and then recover Terracotta, Pome. Oh, they all got destroyed. Wonderful. So we're going to switch gears. Our brother can probably pick this up if he's capable. If he's not, then we'll come back. So I feel like can get rid of the peasant horseman. He's not going to be ready anytime soon. And then we're going to recruit two here. I'm going to swap this to trade. I think we're good. Honestly, I really want that fur. So once we get the population, we're going to upgrade and get that fur. Right, I'm gonna have to reject this every turn because we want to save it. Gonna reject the outpost buildings. We're not building that. I think we're good. Oh, we're not good, but it's fine. Hmm. After our gate again. So this is opportunity to intercept. He's having one unit siege and trying to move a bigger army through. My question is, if I go out, is the map uh, like a siege map or is it it's a siege map? OK, yeah, then then this is fine. We'll fight them using the wall. And this is what we want to see. Obviously, massive army. We could also decline, just let them through. Because right now, obviously, this is tough. We got towers. Yeah, let's fight this. Have some faith in Druga now. This is the new mechanic, right? The new mechanic where they put you under siege, you can still intercept the army trying to move through. But in this case, you know, you can obviously decline as well because they got they got good stuff. We hold the wall. I think we'll be okay. Let's go. Because I feel like they're not going to have siege weapons. So this is their first turn sieging. And then if they have to climb walls. We would have a lot of advantages here. Well, time for Drugodon to prove his worth. So towers on the wall in Warhammer, you must have a unit sitting on the wall for the towers to be activated. So that's the key thing. Yeah, they have no siege tower. I think we'll be fine. We can build more towers, uh, you know, behind as well to shoot out and fall back as we fight because there's tears to this. Um, but I think we're going to try to hold them off at the wall because the wall towers are free and uh, we should definitely utilize that. Um, so you can see, once we put them there, the tower's activated. I might, um, stretch them out a little. Can we possibly stretch out these so they can activate both? Yes, that's what we want to do. We don't have that many units, so we're going to have to be pretty stingy with these. Now we're going to get the crossbowmen. Can they fire through this obstruction? I'm curious about their vision. 
I feel like I want to be leaning a little bit on this side, so we're gonna go... Yeah, something like that. And then... Something like that. And then we're gonna have to put... Just behind them, we'll, we'll flip their job once they start climbing the wall, and also in the meantime... It'll give them the Inyam bonus. Gotta be close to the center of the unit. Yeah, there we go. Anti-large. Um, they're gonna have things that can break the gates, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna also watch out for that. If it comes down to that, we'll have to fall back. We'll fall back to... Probably this hallway. Keep them over here for now. Potentially, we can exit out of this gate to get some flanking angles, but they're still going to be super fragile. I know he has a spell. Come on the wall. Only to we have a 50% amplifier on Drugoda, so... Crossbow unit's over here, so you're going to go over here and boost that. Who's, oh, we have one extra one. Um, You two guard this one. Right, I think we're good. Do I want to build any towers ahead of time? Probably. Get them ready. Range. I think the range is all the same, so it doesn't really matter. It's just the type of arrows being shot out. Reload time, 10. There's a little explosion on that one. But the 500 costs, I, I think we want more towers. We can always upgrade them later. And I think I can fit a tower here. Because I think most attack will come from this direction. We'll get more supplies as the battle commences. Let's go. Remember your training. Trust in the dragons. And victory shall be certain. Alright, this is a big fight. We should be fine. All these towers. If only these sentinels would activate. My mind is ready. And do some sort of wind spell. Yeah, they're going for the middle gate here. I don't think they'll make it. I feel like we're gonna be fine. We can do a wind spell like across the gate if they do go for it. Oh, are we shooting out of the sentinel's mouth? Me the animation. Yeah, actually, yeah. They have such high leadership still, despite having almost no health. Right, we're gonna send one out to distract. I don't even think I want to use my wind magic here or my summon unit. Yeah, they're just gonna climb. Easy block there. The I think this would actually pull them off the ladder if I just get close enough. We got backup. We're fine. Actually, we don't. Yeah, we can just preserve our force. It's fine. The tower's gonna do their job. We got the Astromancer sitting here doing damage. We got Jade Warriors. Gotta make sure these have guard mode on for this type of fight. Yeah, they're done. Just shred them. Here comes those big reinforcements. That's what we don't want to see. Never but uh, what can we do? Guided by ancestors. Warriors. Do I need to worry about that? Cavalry by celestial decree. It is a fate. 
Make sure we have someone at these towers to make sure the towers are still activated. Um, Brugodal, you want to solo him? Make sure we chase that down. Where are you? Go distract. We need to stall. Astromancer, please show up. Sent by Shen Yong. The Celestial Faithful. The Dragon. Alright, stay here for a second as we micro the rest. Where did their lord go? Okay. Drugan. Alright, you Drugan go take care of that. We'll take care of all the routed units. We're gonna start shifting everyone over. Oops, the fighting will happen over here. Pull them back. It's gonna be seeking Cathay's foes. Whatever is required. Yep. Hold the wall. Mm, they can fire across this. This is not gonna block their vision. That's interesting how we're able to do that. Alright, they're coming in waves, we're good. Make sure they're both routed for good. We're gonna send the cavalry out. Who now should win this? There's also a tower helping him. Oh, he can give boost. We're gonna have him go over here. He's gonna be fine. We don't have to. The tower is gonna get him. Are we stuck on a tree? No, we're not. Good. Tower is gonna take care of him. Cavalry's get ready. All right, their first wave has been beaten back. Please stand a little bit up. Alright, we can drag them across if they want to come chase us. We don't have any more towers on this side that's active, so it's not really worth sending them over. But if we could do anything to their army to stop them. Is that... Those are hounds. Those are hounds. Run. Marching as one. I mean, not gonna let him sit here. Where is our astromancer? Wish we could knock the people off that wall. Uh, we didn't pull back enough. It's okay. Why don't you take them on a loop? Buy us some time. Alright, they went back. Oh? How are they taking this? Alright, they beat him. You hunt him down, he's gonna bounce back otherwise. Uh, the gate bug is still- Who is opening the gate, by the way? No one. Unless they broke- Ah, oh, they broke it. That's not a bug. They actually attacked it. That's fine, we have units on the ground for a reason. We might have to start thinking about falling back, though. Time to give the boost here. Of stone and steel sent by dragons. Most of them are actually getting beaten down, so I'm not too concerned. Move as wind. Here. Give their range unit something to fight. Alright, he bounced back. Where's our other cavalry units? Wait, he bounced back and killed off our cavalry? Seriously? No, no. Where's our other cavalry? Oh, uh, got caught with some. Got. Oh yeah, I was gonna have him chase him. Keep him occupied. 
Oh, we killed him. All right, go hunt them down. Shoot, shoot. They're, I mean, they're done. There's a lot of towers inside. I'm not going to bother with them. We, we won this battle. There's no doubt. Just cleaning up. Like, they have some units wandering around, but, like... Are we fine here, or are we not fine? Now I'm a little confused, because there's this unit running inside our base. I can't pull the camera over because of, uh... Our realism. Alright, I'm gonna have to send someone back so I can get camera access to, to behind our base. Right now, it seems like they're diving for our center, and they're trying to capture our flag, and that's no good. Feels like we won in the front. We're going to shift everyone back just in case. Yeah, like, they run here, and they rebound, and they're going to go for our base back here. Like, our tower should be up soon. We'll go down. Might need a little help. Here, we're going to send him over. And uh, we're going to send him over. I'm going to give Drugo down a buff here. You guys stay here and help with this. Range units start going back. Yeah, they're just going for this point. We're moving back though. Tower is going to go up soon. Hmm. Probably should build some more blockade. We actually have a lot of money. The tower don't go up instantly, so it will take some time. But at least we got the camera over here, so I can at least build these. Yeah, I thought we had it, so didn't really concern ourselves with the unit sneaking back over here. Mm, they probably want to ignore them. Go after the ones in the back, but they're not on the base now. If we can fight them here, we're be really good. Okay, we're gonna get a clean charge. Rear, rear charge as well? Everyone else is on their way back. We should be winning this fight soon. If not, we'll use it again. Come on, can we kill this guy? We got four units trying to kill one guy. We can do it. After, oh, he's done. After he's done, I want the Astromancer to go back as well. Okay, so after their Lord fell, they routed. So that was good. No need to worry about this. All right, so the gate defense is fairly strong. We, we won that without that much loss. And the Great Bastion is going to help us hold. And this is a tier one. So as we level it up, get more defensive buildings, we will be fine. Better garrison. And we picked up a rare item, Crystal of Qu oh, Quinlan. Quinlan is a mountain range in Grand Cafe, birthplace of the Dragon Emperor. Ward save 5%, passive ability that's explosion around us, I guess, in melee. I think this will end up going to, um, to Malian instead. Uh, we might actually pick up replenishment. It's getting pretty busy over here. Does this mean we'll be able to lower this? Hmm, no, doesn't mean we don't get the 20%. But anyways, our armies are shifting back north because it's heating up over here and we're going to need a second army. Drogodon doing his best. No. This army coming from behind from the Dragon Gate. Um, our ally here has lost a lot of land, which is actually good because we end up getting to pick up the lands of stone and steel. That's going to be our next objective next time. So hope you guys enjoy this one and I'll see you all next time. Bye.